into you, Julia, with breaking news on Linus. Uh, we got the news yesterday on a delay uh, to that decision out of Malaysia. The shares are tanking 18% plus as we speak. Uh, so that news even uh, starting to look, look pretty grubby for the stock. What's, what's the kind of the, the near-term catalyst to break out of this one? I mean, Linus is a rare earth company, and mm. the key advantage it, it had over other rare earth uh, miners is that it was what, supposed to be one of the first ones to come to the market. And the thing with rare earths is that they're not very rare. It's just a case of uh, prices being elevated because of China's export quarters at quarter. And Linus had a bit of a head start on some of the other developing mines, and it was hoped that it'd be able to cash in on some of those higher prices. That probably won't be around for too long, given that we are going to see a lot of supply coming online. The key to Linus has been that Malaysian processing plant and there has been a lot of political hurdles, a lot of environmental uh, protests in regards to that Malaysian processing plant. So really this stock price just revolves around news coming out about that, um, about that plant and the temporary license which was supposed to be granted to Linus so that it could start processing in Malaysia but it does look like it may have run into some more troubles. So the key driver of this share price is that Malaysian processing plant whether or not it gets a license and when it starts processing at that plant. All right, uh, another story, another sob story actually. Uh, Lucas shares off almost 8% as we speak. Julia, just still on you on this one. Uh, the quarterly numbers, uh, the quarterly production report not, not hitting the mark. We've got quarterly numbers out of Iluka and it does look like we're still waiting for recovery in the demand side of the equation for both titanium dioxide products uh, as well as the minerals, other mineral sands products. If we have a look at the year to date, it looks like sales down by about 20%. And if we have a look at the September quarter numbers, we've seen zircon, zircon rutile as well as synthetic rutile sales down by 35%. If we have a look at mineral sands, down by a massive 58%. So it does look like demand are still remaining quite soft. Now, uh, Iluka has been running at a lower run rate to try and offset the weakness that we are seeing in demand and to try and help prices. But I guess there are some positive signs out there as well. There are some signs of life now in the housing market in terms of China and in terms of US. The leading indicators are slowly starting to show signs of life, but consumer confidence is extremely low. If we have a, a look at Iluka shares, it is the demand side of the equation which is really keeping back this stock at the moment. Because if we have a look at the supply, side of the equation over the next five years there isn't a lot of supply coming online in the mineral sands area so once we do see a bounce back in demand Iluka is in quite a good place uh, to be able to cash in on that market but at the moment we are still seeing demand very soft in terms of China in terms of the US and that's really weighing on the company we've already seen the shares down 40 percent in the last 52 weeks it looks like another down day for the company today but once we start to see that demand uh, bounce back because we're we're not going to see a lot of supply coming online over the next five years. It is in a good position, but at the moment, cyclically looking quite low because of uh, the housing market, mostly in China. At the later, but on Sonic now, there's been a decision by the ACCC to say, yes, uh, you can acquire HealthScope's pathology business in one state, in this case WA, but not in Queensland. Uh, the stock is, is off about seven tenths of a percent, not a, not a massive fall, but still, I've got a view on that. I guess uh, that pathology area has been quite a difficult one and if we have a look at pathology I guess it's one area where technological advances has helped in terms of a fatter margin but of course the biggest risk in this area uh, is the regulatory risk and changes coming uh, through from uh, Medicare so it does look like um, approval in some states but not in others um, I don't think there would be any surprises here in terms of the uh, the consolidated uh, media ruling uh, by the ACCC and seven no surprises here I don't think many people in the market were expecting that one to go through as well and it's all over the Foxtel uh, sports rights here uh, so all up it does put News Corporation in a better place uh, so altogether it does look like takeovers very much in focus today and the ACCC um, but we have seen quite a bit of uh, uh, takeover interest coming through because some stocks are trading at, at very uh, attractive valuations so we've not only seen private equity interest in this space but also rivals looking to merge.